look students this is the first question on oscillations the question says that the igcse class is investigating a pendulum okay the apparatus is shown in figure 5.1 see students this is the pendulum he is referring to this is the pendulum bob held above this bench and look students the length of the pendulum has been denoted by small l part a says on figure 5.1 measure the length small l of the pendulum let's do that let's measure the length small l with a 30 cm plastic rule now students we know that the least count of a typical plastic rule is 0.1 cm and the value of 0.1 cm has one decimal place so the measurement of small l made with the plastic rule should also be stated to one decimal place like this 10.5 cm actually students i have already measured the length and i know that it measures as 10.5 cm let's do the next part now students part b says the diagram is drawn one fifth actual size what does this mean this means that the actual size of the objects shown in the diagram is five times greater calculate the actual length capital l of the pendulum now look students as the actual length of the pendulum is five times its length shown in the diagram so the actual length capital l is calculated as 5 times 10.5 which is equal to 52.5 So students the actual length capital L of the pendulum should be stated as 52.5 cm right let's do the next part now the next part part C says a student places a meter rule on the bench so that 50 cm mark is vertically below the center of the pendulum bob so students if this is the pendulum bob and this is the center of the bob and this is the meter rule placed on the bench then the 50 cm mark is here vertically below the center of the pendulum bob right describe how you would get that 50 cm mark is vertically below the center of the pendulum bob you may draw a diagram look students in this part to check if the 50 cm mark is vertically below the center of the bob the student can use a set square let me show you how see students he can place the set square on the meter rule like this so that the vertical edge of the set square this edge is on the 50 cm mark and also right below the bottom of the bob this point students this diagram will earn you full marks in this part you don't have to write anything here because the diagram is already self explanatory it clearly shows what's going on students there is a very important point you should remember about drawing a diagram in the atp paper that when you draw a diagram label each and everything in your diagram otherwise you may lose a mark let's do the next part now part d says the student pulls the pendulum bob to one side until it is vertically above the 52.0 cm mark on the rule okay he has moved the pendulum bob a horizontal distance d equal to 2.0 cm this makes sense because previously the bob was right above the 50 cm mark he releases the pendulum bob then measures the time small t taken for 12 complete swings of the pendulum so students now he can divide the time taken for 12 swings by 12 and determine the period of the pendulum he repeats the procedure using a range of d values the values of t and small t are shown in table 5.1 see students these are the values of t and these are the corresponding values of small t the third column which is supposed to have corresponding values of period capital t is blank now d part 1 says calculate the period capital t of the pendulum for each value of t enter the values in the table the period capital t is the time taken for one complete swing of the pendulum look students for d equal to 2 cm the time taken for 12 swings is 17.4 seconds students i have just figured out that the unit of time must be second because obviously the time taken for 12 swings of the pendulum can't be 17.4 minutes So students if time taken for 12 swings is 17.4 seconds the time taken for one swing that is the period of the pendulum can be easily determined by dividing 17.4 by 
so students for d equal to 2 cm period comes out to be 1.45 seconds let's determine the period of pendulum for d equal to 3 cm now see students here the time taken for 12 swings is 17.6 seconds so the period is calculated as 17.6 divided by 12 which is equal to 1.466666 and the value continues now here students we need to round off this value to appropriate number of significant figures we know the rule that the number of significant figures to be retained in the calculated quantity should be equal to the least number of significant figures in the raw data now students here small t serves as the raw data and it has three significant figures so the value of period should be rounded off to three significant figures that is to this digit now rounding off the value of period to this digit gives us 1.47 students note that here the last digit retained in the value is increased by 1 so it changes from 6 to 7 because the last digit drop is 6 and 6 is greater than 5 students this is a standard rounding of rule that i'm sure you all must already know now students use the same method as shown here and determine the rest of the values of period by yourself later because i am going to move on to the next part the next part d2 says complete the column headings in the table students note that each column heading in the table contains a quantity and a forward slash mark but it lacks unit so let's complete the column headings by adding appropriate units to them we know that the unit of distance d is centimeter the unit of time small t taken for 12 swings is second and the unit of period capital t is also second so now the column headings in the table are complete and we get one mark for that let's do the next part now part e says using the evidence in the table describe the effect on the period capital t of increasing the distance t justify your answer by reference to your results students first of all note that the value of t continuously increases from the first row until the last row but the value of period t on the other hand increases a little bit from the first row to the second row then decreases a little bit from the second row to the third row and then increases a little bit again from the first row until the last row in short there is no trend in the values of period t neither increasing nor decreasing also note that the values of period t are very close to each other and apparently the percentage difference between any two values of t is less than 10% so we can say that period t remains constant or the same in other words increasing t has no effect on period and the justification for this answer is that the values of t are pretty much the same and that's it let's do the next part now the next part part f which is also the last part of the question says that suggest why the student measures the time taken for 12 swings of the pendulum rather than for one swing students if you could recall we learned this concept in the first chapter of igcse physics slippers length and time that when we time several oscillations of a simple pendulum and then divide the total time taken by the number of oscillations we get the average value of the period which is more accurate because it reduces the effect of human reaction error on the time measurement so the answer to this part is to get an average value of t or to get a more accurate value of t or we can also write to reduce the effect of human reaction error to reduce the effect of human reaction error students we have just finished the first question on oscillation 